Uh, ben, let me address your issue about what I said yesterday with the Daily Israeli Wire. I even said the Daily Jewish Wire. If you haven't watched the entire context of what I said, I'm going to put the link below. You can go watch the entire thing on what I said from the beginning to the end. I highly recommend you watch it. Secondly, why I think uh, uh, you have to know where my perspective is slightly different. So this is my proposal to you. If you're America first, we, Value Tainment, have agreed that if you want to do the sit down with us, a fair and balanced sit down, the moderating of the two of you, we will give $250,000 to Lakin Riley's family. Guys, this situation is getting totally ridiculous between Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro, okay? So for those who don't know, Candace Owens appears to have been fired, canned from Daily Wire. And ever since then, really since before then, it's been this ongoing drama because essentially Candace Owens didn't bend the knee and get on her hands and knees and start bowing to the overlords over in Israel and switch her religion from Christianity to the Jewish faith. Essentially, Ben Shapiro uh, took this as an offense. I mean, I'm kind of joking about that last part, but basically it seems like the fact that Candace Owens didn't just stand behind Israel no matter what, and she's calling out Israel on the fact that uh, there's a genocide, at least that's what she believes is happening in Gaza from Israel and that they're kind of going too far. She's basically criticized Israel. Ben Shapiro took this as anti-Semitism, as well as uh, a number of people associated with the Daily Wire. And apparently there's uh, quite a few Jewish people at the top of uh, the Daily Wire, as well as uh, staff members. And this led to some friction. Inevitably, she appears to have been let go from the Daily Wire, but the drama continues. Okay, the drama continues where now they're kind of hyping this thing up more than like the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight that's going to go on because this is probably going to be uh, a slaughter. <laughs> like, and I'm thinking from Candace Owens' standpoint now, I'm going to review like their Twitter posts about this real quick, but I already kind of know how this is going to go. Okay, the conversation is about the definition of anti Semitism and basically how it's being used and applied. Now, Ben Shapiro, he, obviously, he's going to have knowledge on Israel and the history and basically being Jewish, right? But that's not what the debate is about. The debate is about anti-Semitism. So technically, he's going to have a leg up on some of the history, but in regard to how the anti-Semite term is being leveraged, he's going to get smoked, okay? That would be like having a conversation about racism and talking to some black scholar and they perceive any little slight against them as racism and they know all the history, but you could easily corner them by saying, well, if somebody makes a mistake and asks you the wrong question or says the wrong thing, is it truly racism or is it defined as ignorance of a subject? I would argue that ignorance of a subject and disagreements on a subject is not the same as racism or anti-Semitism or any type of phobia or anything. But these days, a lot of people have gone totally radical. Ben Shapiro is one of those. So let me show y'all a clip that Candace Owens posted. And this is a actually a huge call out because it's factual. Let's take a quick look. Candace, yeah. she's not yeah. afraid of nobody. She will say whatever the she wants to say. She will debate any yeah. single person. She'll go out there and do it, mm -hmm. right? Ben Shapiro is dating, uh, debating college kids. Yeah. Let's just be honest, yeah. right? It's like anytime he debates somebody who's like worthy, he either gets washed or bare minimum stalemate. I've never seen him actually win a debate against somebody who's like educated in the matter. Candace, yeah. she's not yeah. afraid. So, okay, the quick clip. So here's the thing to comment on that quickly. So I've never seen Candace Owens lose a debate. I'll certainly say that. As a matter of fact, she definitely always appears to win. And she's debated lots of people. Now, people have gotten like these weird moments on her, right? Everybody's familiar with that infamous... T.I. moment at right now that said make black America great again because black no, America, make America we talking about make America, America. that wasn't the no, question I, answer, I am answering which your question period was America great that we're trying to replicate well, uh, which era was it 
Slavery was all over the world. The all question. over the world. That's America was, I'm not, I'm not saying it's okay, so why are you saying, oh? I want to like you question, so bad. I'm trying to answer so your question. Smart. I want right, to like you so much. I can't actually just going to boo when I say a, a slavery was all over the world, which is a fact. Why are you booing a fact? Finish because you're point. making light of. No, I'm not. You're making light I of haven't the gotten to my points. I'm not of making. People that look like us. You can't all make right. light of that. That ain't nothing you breeze over. I haven't even over. finished the sentence. How am I making you light of anything? You started with some bullshit. Okay. However, that really wasn't, that wasn't the full, con if you see like the full conversation and, you know, Candace Owens always has good points because the majority of people she talks with are kind of ignorant, even though Candace technically debates a lot of college students too, but she's also debates others. Ben Shapiro, when he has conversations with other people, is more so him trying to forcibly find a way to talk over people rather than him actually winning debates. So that at least that's my take on it. So Candace Owens asked, I would like to debate Ben Shapiro on Israel and the current definition of anti-Semitism. Can somebody make this happen? And then she posted, she reposted this video from someone else with a similar name as me, Anomaly. Ben Shapiro replies, sure Candace, I texted you Monday offering this very thing. Let's do it on my show Monday at our studio in Nashville, 90 minutes live streamed. Okay, Candace says she does not want to do it at the Daily Wire, okay? So she wants to make the discussion happen in a neutral, trustworthy platform. She wants to do it on Patrick Bet David's platform, Valuetainment. So I've done videos on Valuetainment before. Uh, she also mentions Joe Rogan or another buddy named, another guy named Lex. Now, I'm not familiar with Lex. I don't think I've done any videos with this Lex character in it. But Candace Owens originally wanted a moderator, and now Ben Shapiro's clapping back at her. Candace, I can see why you want to hide behind a moderator. Now, let me pause right here for a second. For anybody who's, you know, alive and knows anything about debates, you normally always have a moderator. I mean, technically, you can debate without one. But I kind of feel like, you know, an interview is one thing. It's one-on-one, -on -one, something like that. But a moderator is par for the course to make sure you people are actually following some sort of rules in regard to allowing the other person to speak, not talking over them, you know, not just doing ad hominem attacks on individuals, so on and so forth. Without one, things could divulge into chaos, you know, just total anarchy. And it sounds like Ben Shapiro, that's what he wants. I'm, I don't know why he would feel like Candace Owens would need backup. I mean, Candace Owens is known for regularly smoking people in debates, whereas Ben Shapiro is, again, known for that based off the video uh, that Candace Owens played a bunch of college kids, which technically, basically anyone could do. You don't have to be as educated uh, on the subject, even as Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens are, to kind of corner a lot of these college kids logically, okay? <laughs> but anyway, continuing on here. Uh, okay, she also mentions Joe Rogan. Yeah, I've been over that. Okay, so Patrick Bet David actually had an interesting point. So I'm going to play uh, what he said here because he's actually putting up some money on it if he could be the moderator. When we come down and sit down and have the conversation together, we're in America today. So this is my proposal to you. If you're America first, we, Value Tainment, have agreed that if you want to do the sit down with us, a fair and balanced sit down, the moderating of the two of you, we will give $250,000 to Lakin Riley's family because of what's happening today with illegal immigration. It's the number one issue in America, and I think it matters to the both of you. So no matter where you live, today we're raising our kids in America. So I want to make sure we're America first. And last but not least. So I actually think that would be a great idea. Unfortunately, Ben Shapiro, he, he has not accepted that. So this is if is moderated by Valuetainment, which Ben says, no moderator. 250K towards Lake and Rally's family would be really nice, but Ben Shapiro probably doesn't care about that. If it was 250K towards Israel, I guarantee you he'd probably be on it. But uh, he doesn't want to do it. And he said it's because Candace is trying to hide behind a moderator. And uh, in Valuetainment, he says, Patrick Bet David said they should rename their company The Daily Jewish Wire yesterday which was obviously a tongue-in-cheek joke, but apparently Mr. Sensitivity over here 
uh, Mr. Everything and everyone is an anti-Semite can't handle a joke. So now he doesn't want to work with them, even if it means $250,000 going towards Lake Lake and Riley's family. Uh, A little bit petty. He says one-on-one Monday at 5 p.m. Okay, so obviously that's not going to happen for a variety of reasons. Candace Owens spells that out here. Okay, Uh, she says, I cannot laugh hard enough at Ben Shapiro's obvious. I'll only do this at the Daily Wire 5 p.m. Monday or not at all stunt. This dude literally got on a plane to go debate Destiny, the streamer, as moderated by Lex two months ago. Stop making a show of it, Ben. Man up. Oh, not challenging his manhood. That's the only reason why Ben even said he wanted to do this debate to begin with is because Candace Owens challenging him and him not stepping up to the plate was going to be seen as him being cucked. Okay, punt. That's really what this is about. And honestly, I feel like it's still going to amount to that because Ben Shapiro has been a whiny child ever since the Hamas attack. Okay, that's just factual. A lot of people know this. I would argue everybody that is pretty much not at the Daily Wire, majority of people know this and acknowledge this. It's really about him feeling some type of way about Israel being attacked. You know, to him, it's like he's being attacked. It's like his religion is being attacked. It's like his family is being attacked. So anybody who's not 100% on board with him, he is lashing out any way that he can, which ironically Ben Shapiro likes to call people children who he doesn't agree with he's acting incredibly childish about this entire thing so stop making a show of it let's pick a date and time and agreed upon platform regarding which I have just offered you five viable options Ben Shapiro doesn't want none of those options he wants to be an opportunity to bully intimidate Candace Owens a one-on-one which I don't think it's going to happen Candace Owens is in London. She's literally been posting about how she's in London and she can't be available at five. So if you see anyone who says, oh, this debate is happening at five on Monday, not true. It's not going to happen. Candace Owens doesn't want to like rush back and try to get, you know, get ready for this debate or whatever. She's in London and she says she's with Daily Wire employees. Okay. She does make mention here that maybe she could try to get back on Monday uh, and swing by virtually do it in a separate studio, but it doesn't seem as though there was ever any disagreement here. So Ben Shapiro's offline. Um, So this is the last message from Candace. Barring the odd insinuation that you didn't know your own employees were booked on international flights to come join me in London to film for your platform, this is great. So basically, Daily Wire employees are filming something with Candace Owens. Candace Owens is not with the Daily Wire, but she's still filming with some employees in London. Uh, She says, I fully accept no moderator. I will get in touch with you privately to get this set up. So we don't know exactly what the time frame is. Uh, Jeremy Boring at the Daily Wire, he also responded. "Um, I don't know your international travel schedule, which Jeremy Boring should, because again, some employees from the Daily Wire are over there in London with Candace. I know you wanted to talk to someone in the past. You've flown across the world to make it happen you asked for a debate ben agreed to debate you don't want it on the daily wire channel fine we can live stream it on your channels you don't want to shoot it in daily wire studios fine we'll rent a a studio in nashville you don't want the daily wire crew fine we'll hire a local crew you don't want the daily wire to pay for it fine you're rich you can pay for it yourself okay i didn't see anything about candace owen saying that but okay you don't want to do it Monday, fine. Let us know how long you need to prepare. Uh, we will not agree to a moderator, no third party to put their finger on the scale. <laughs> we will not agree to a virtual event or edited video, live in person, one-on-one. Okay, well, if that's how it's going to be, I think a little bit more lead time than from Friday to Monday is fair. I don't think that that's giving a bunch of time to do a bunch of additional debate preparation or anything. If somebody's literally across the world, which London is, then I think it's reasonable to say, okay, you don't want to take somebody on like when they're weak and tired from traveling. You want to make sure they at least get a damn good night's sleep and take them on at their strongest. In my opinion, if Ben Shapiro's half the man he claims to be, that's what he would do. Okay, so... It could be the middle of the week. It could be a week from now. It could be next Friday. I would love a Friday activity, but uh, there's no officially agreed upon terms here. We just know that it's going to happen. So 
Uh, the drama here is going down. I don't think that there's anything else that's been posted about this since. Uh, yeah, this was literally an hour ago. Okay, so it's going down. We don't know when, but I'm definitely going to keep you all up to date on this. And I'm absolutely going to be uh, at minimum doing a video, at least one video about what actually transpires during the debate. I'm anticipating Ben Shapiro is going to be essentially look like a complete fool because I've seen what Candace Owens has said about Israel, about the Jewish people, and I've seen what Ben Shapiro has said, and everybody is basically being very critical of him, rightfully so. Candace Owens is raising fair questions, making fair analysis, and there's throwing around anti-Semitism. They're saying she agrees with Hitler. Like Ben Shapiro didn't say this, but... Uh, another rabbi, Barclays, was saying she agreed with Hitler and all kinds of stuff. These people are nuts, okay? They've gone crazy. And unfortunately, people always like to try to bully people who they feel like they can get away with. They know that, you know, Hamas is going to be difficult to defeat, if not impossible. There's going to be new people who are going to bring Hamas back if they defeat every single person who claims to be Hamas. It's going to be some other people that come up from the ashes and, you know, they're going to rise up again, just like Al Qaeda, just like ISIS. It's the same old story. But no, you want to pick on the black woman. <laughs> okay, look, I got to put a race card on y'all. They're going really hard against Candace, even though a lot of other people are criticizing the heck out of Israel as well. But no, they, they, no, they got to pick on Candace Owens because. You know, she's the Christian of the group. Like we don't we have really liked her that much anyway. Get her ass up the hell up out of the Daily Wire. That's what they did. A lot of people might call them at the Daily Wire racist. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching the Black Anomaly Rising channel. I'm out. It's about to go down.